If you don't know, we have just launched a podcast called the D2C Deep Dive, where I speak to leaders in the direct consumer space. And I thought it would be a really cool video to break down how we record a podcast, maybe give you some tips along the way, genuinely so you can kind of geek out and see what goes into recording a fairly high standard podcast, if I say so myself. Uh, so this is what we start with. Easier to start with this. A blank canvas currently it's an absolute tip, and the reason for that is because we use this studio to film lots of other things for clients as well as our own content. But to give you a little breakdown, we use two of these lights to light me, an Aperture 300D Mark II. These are normally on 100% because we're filming against the window. Uh, a globe diffusion goes on this one, then we have a softbox on this one that's currently on in order to give me a bit of light for this. Uh, but we're filming against a window, so it's, it, it, it's never fun. But it will quickly transform into a podcast studio. Uh, we also do something about the echo because it's a bit of a mess as well. But we'll do all that uh, and then we'll, I don't know, I'll come in. I don't know how this video is going to work. We're just going to, we're just going to film it, okay? So we're going to be filming on the Canon C200. Uh, we need to set that up first. So get a battery, all the usual stuff. Uh, we film with an 18 to 35. Uh, Sigma lens at about 25 millimeter, something like that. Uh, great lens because it goes to like f2 point or 1.8, something like that. We also need our podcast box, uh, which has all the cables which we use to record it. I'm not sure why this is in here. Look at that box. This C200 is basically always on this tripod at the right height, so we can just bring it in and set it in and just uh, and just start going. Come with me, Nick. And then we have these handy dandy marks on the floor. And then all we do is just set the bitch down. There we go. Magic, green means podcast. So same for the table. We have some marks for the table. Oh. Uh, we have this lovely little IKEA trolley, which we push in and set it under the camera. Because uh, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'll show you what that's for later. Get that watch time up. Uh, but this needs to go in these green marks. Uh, uh. So now the desk and the camera are always in the same position every single time we shoot, which is important for continuity, isn't it, Nick? Uh, what else? We need to sort out this mess of cables as well. Of course, because most of our guests come over Zoom, we need a pretty stable internet connection. Uh, so we don't rely on Wi-Fi, because um, for a start, our Wi-Fi in this office is horrific. So instead, we go Ethernet. I have an old MacBook, uh, which we use to record and run the show. So are you ready? For, this is how you plug in an Ethernet with a, yeah? You get that? Get that, get that in the tags how to plug in ethernet. More cables <laughs> on the floor, zero organization. Uh, yeah, laptops also plugged in. Basically everything that can be plugged into power should be plugged into power because I don't rely on batteries. So we also need to plug in the camera. This is the globe diffusion. You ready, you ready? Action shot. Yeah, get that in there, look at that, eh? Ready, ready for this sweet, guarantee I won't be able to get it in. Are you ready? Oh, oh, she's in straight away. So these have to go all the way up uh, because if they don't, then I'm squinting in the episodes. So this is the microphone we use. Uh, it's a Shure MV7, I think that's what it's called. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. But this is the USB version of the SM7B. Personally, I use that one, but it needs an interface and XLR and all that stuff. So this is easier because it's just USB. I'm using the Elgato Low Profile Mic Arm because I'm on camera and so I don't want it covering my face. So this is this is amazing. This is such a brilliant piece of gear. 130 quid, something like that. Full metal construction, little magnets. So you can cable, look at that, look at that, look at that quality in it. Look at that, eh? Don't get that anywhere else. I've got a different mic muff that goes on that because of my explosives, my popping peas and Peter Pirates. Uh, it sounds better with that on. 
uh, and then this all runs into the MacBook. So all these plug in here, all the USBs into an Anchor USB hub. Anchor, if you want to get the old little sponsor on the go. Yeah, all these go in here, uh, which is uh, that and a mouse because I need to control said computer from uh, my table. Everything runs through this MacBook. Um, so the guest is on Zoom on here. And so I can see them and kind of make eye contact with the camera here while they're down here. Cause if the laptop was in front of me, I would have been looking down. It just doesn't look great. So I have that kind of away from me, also away from the microphone because it sounds like a plane's about to take off when I, when, when I start working. We also, which is really cool. We use a Elgato again, an Elgato uh, cam link. Lovely. We have this, which sends the signal from the C200 into here. Uh, so it acts like a webcam. So the guests on Zoom can actually see me through here. So I'm actually making contact uh, with my eyes to the right people. Because otherwise it looks a bit, a bit rubbish. That doesn't go into the extension lead. That goes directly in there. Uh, and then we use nice little hood of my cable um, into the camera and then just into here and then it as soon as we turn it on it just detects it as a webcam really cool way to way to do it it just means that we're limiting me looking down as much as possible this also goes on some nifty boxes let me go get the boxes where are my boxes oh there they are so there we go that sits on there technical uh the reason for that like i mentioned so that the guest is as close to the lens as possible uh, so that, you know, I can see and talk to them properly. Uh, and then we need to plug this into power, this into here. You ready? You ready? 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 <coughs> Look at that, beautiful. So that's, that's the shot there, lovely, jubbly. Uh, we need to format all the cards in it and then we're, we're pretty much ready, ready to go, pretty much. Um, and then on here, on the MacBook, we run Adobe Audition and that records my microphone. Uh, and then we use Zoom to record their audio and video separately. So everything's on different channels. And then we hit record on my camera. So in the end, we have this camera, their Zoom video, their audio, and my audio, all the separate channels, and then we clap at the beginning to sync everything up, and it all, it all works, it all works well. So now I sit here while Nick frames me up. Um, how does that look, mate? Amazing. Amazing. So the next thing we need to do is set up some stands for our sound panels. These are just like acoustic panels, which I've stolen from my brother next door. Uh, but these basically kind of enclose me in a little bit because it's a pretty echoey room and so it's very difficult in order to control uh, the echo and you can tell a difference. We did some tests with and without uh, and it does help. Um, not dramatically but it's not a treated room so there's not much we can do about it. However, it helps enough that uh, it sounds less echoey. I mean even now it sounds better than when we started. Uh, but yeah, these just go, these just kind of fill in the gaps around me. So just like that. The coolest part of this whole setup is this. Uh, this is uh, our remote for the lights. So when we come in, we don't need to walk around and press all the lights. Instead, we just go bam and the lights are on as if by magic we're overexposed. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's a, so that's a pretty cool part of this because it just saves us. I mean, it probably saves us like two seconds. It probably saves absolutely nothing, but it's pretty cool though, isn't it? We can just go. There we go. See, every time, like a dream. And so that's, that's pretty much it. That is how we create a podcast studio within our kind of spare studio. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool that we can, we can do this uh, really quickly. When we're not filming, it probably takes like 15 minutes to change over from us filming like product stuff over to, over to doing this. If you want to listen to the podcast, there's a link in the description to go and watch it to actually see what this looks like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe on Spotify, all that usual stuff. 
but yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, all the gear will be listed down below that we're using for this. Uh, but yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.